busy jamming. Welcome, guys. The camera shop carnival. That's when we come together to display we culture. Camera shop carnival. We just get in party mode, making mass on the road, 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 road. Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am by now, my name is Caribbean Slim, aka Mari J, and this is the carnival parade edition of St. Thomas Tips for Tourists. The parades is more of an experience that you have to be there to experience the parades. As you can see, I'm decked out in typical parade gear if you're on the sidewalk, pasty as they say. Festive, it's very festive, you know? Parades take place the last Friday and last Saturday of April. Friday is the children's parade. There's troops, there's typically majorettes, steel bands from all of the public and private schools, mokojumbis, clowns, which it's not the clown that you're used to, it's the clowns that came from Africa type clowns. And you'll see what I'm talking about. The mokojumbis are like the people that are in stilts. There's also like the little prince and princesses from each school that come out. In the children's parade, children of all ages take place from zero years old up until I believe 13. And it's so adorable to see it. I would encourage you if you're down there and you have the time to, go check out the kids on the Friday, the children's parade. It's really, it's it's a, it's an amazing thing to see. These kids work hard all year to put on a show for that one day. So parents and grandparents and anyone who likes kids, you know, who likes kids to see them, do, just go and support them. The adults parade is on Saturday and that's the parade everybody on St. Thomas looks forward to all year. Costumes that you're gonna see are colorful and big and vibrant and just elaborate and gorgeous. Some are going to be so big that they have to have wheels on the bottom. They're gonna be walking around with wheels to support themselves. That's how big some of these, like big and heavy some of these costumes are gonna be that you're gonna see this year. There's also majorettes, but they're like middle schoolers. You don't see much adult majorettes. There's the high school and the adult steel bands that play. The Carnival Queen, the queens from all the high schools. There's visiting queens from other islands. You're gonna see what I'm talking about. It's, 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 it's in royalty, it's just extraness. If you're from the States, it's just extraness all around. This is the opportunity where if you want to, you can and you are welcome to take as many pictures as you want to of the revelers in the streets. Other than that, like I said in my other video, don't take anyone's picture without their permission. But by all means, if you want to take pictures of the parades, you are more than welcome to. Now, during the parades, there's no seats. It's not a stadium unless you want it. There's, there is a stadium portion of it, but that is unless you want to go to the stadium and view where the judges judge each category. Most people stay in front of Post Office Square. That's where all the camera crews are. That's where the live stream is if you can't make it home like me. That's where almost everything is. It's where the action happens and where they do their little break dance and stuff, their little break, their main entertainment thing. No, you have to see these things for you to believe it. These are trucks that are on trailers that have these big speakers on them and they're local bands. Some of these local bands you're gonna see in the village and I made a video about that. And yeah, it's, it's just something you have to go to experience. It's n unlike no other. Just be smart, wear comfortable shoes, enjoy yourself. The adult parade could run late into night. It, de I, it depends on how many entries there are. Um, I remember the longest ran up until nine at night. From It started at noon and it ran until nine at night. You're not allowed to go within the parade route space unless you are a participant of a troop. So there will be cut off ropes and stuff. You'll, you'll know, you'll know when you see it. Many people, when they go to the parades, they carry their chairs with them because they plan to be there all day. If you just want to go and see what it's about and you like it, I wouldn't recommend carrying a chair because that could be in someone's way. But yeah, thank you guys for watching my video again. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell for when I post more videos and I will be posting more videos. And as always, guys, stay lovely. Bye. Oh, sexy me, I love this, no.